Good morning everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. I am in the best mood today. Welcome back if you're not new. If you are new, welcome. I feel like we must be a good chunk through Vlogmas now. I have completely lost track of how many days it is. I actually need to sit down and like rejig my life and figure out how many days I have until Christmas, when I need to go home, when I need to have presents sorted by. Like, you know when you just need like a regroup and I feel like today is that day. I also need to go food shopping, but I'm currently waiting for the refrigerator service man to come and I've had the drainage people here all morning and it's just been one of those days. I'm very much struggling at the moment to get back to zero. I don't know if you know what like I mean by that. I feel like I have so much to do. I am just constantly like trying to clamber out of the hole of stuff and I just can't get back to neutral. So I really, really, really need to get there. But then it's like, then the vlog slips and then it's like, oh my goodness, I, I, I need. I've spent all morning editing things and I'm feeling like I'm getting there and I've like I've ticked off so much today but there's you know there's still more to do I think it's at the point where I'm going to have to start doing things that I don't really want to be doing like ordering my groceries in instead of going to get my groceries it's such a simple thing but I really enjoy going to the grocery store but I just simply don't have the capacity today anyway you know what I really love I really love the fridge man to come right now be finished in an hour and then I can go to m &S, but it's not gonna happen I have a terrible feeling he's not going to turn up again he didn't turn up last time so I could wait no longer so I called them and they're running late so they said they will come tomorrow morning instead which is not too too inconvenient but I just want to get it done you know when like it's been rescheduled once it's now twice and I just would love to get <laughs> love to get it done let's go to the grocery store because that's going to be a huge tick for me and I'm very happy that I now have the time to do that and hopefully it won't be too busy getting there so I decided to go to the M&S near HomeSense because there's an Aldi there as well but I don't actually think I'm going to go into HomeSense I don't think I need anything it's so bright I'm so sorry actually I should probably have a think through if there is anyone present wise I'm missing that I could get. I'm stuck behind like three buses right now. And I made it. I feel like I got stuck behind every possible thing that I could, but I actually still made it in relatively good time. So it's fine. I'm going to start with Aldi and then I am going to pop into Marks and Spencers. I feel like you can never get everything you need from m &S. You have to, oh my God, you have to do a couple. Oh my goodness, what a palaver. So I got in there and there was this woman she just starts yelling like shouting at a member of staff because she wouldn't serve her on a till. And this poor member of staff, she was just like, I'm sorry, I was just serving that one staff member. Like, the till's not open. This woman was yelling. This went on for about two minutes until another female member of staff grabbed one of the male members of staff that was just kind of stood there and went, you can't let her talk to her like this. Please ask her to leave the shop. Such a difficult time of year, isn't it? I feel like everyone's very stressed tensions are high you never know what that woman had been dealing with today but at the same time it's not the person that works on the till's fault but what really shocked me is that it took another female member of staff to advocate for her colleague and ask for help for her i thought that was a bit sad but anyway yeah you just never know do you what someone's going through but either way not the nicest experience okay i'm trying to figure what i need to eat for the next few days but i'm always so taken in by the fun seasonal things they've got fresh cranberries and everything it looks so good like i really want to get the cranberries i really want to get the cherries but i know i won't have the chance to eat them well i don't think anyway oh these dates look so good oh they're fresh dates never had fresh medjool dates they've also got two of the cotton candy grapes left i'm pretty sure i have tried these i always forget but whenever i would go to the m s near me at home like home home they would be sold out so it's exciting they've got them here Oh, I have a stool. Wonderful. Welcome to a new portion of the vlog that I'm calling dog bed chats. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but I just looked at you and thought, wow, he needs a cuddle. Was I right? So I've been doing some more house planning and there's certain things that I need to get rid of before my sofas get delivered. Did you just fall off your bed? So I need to get rid of the mattress from the guest bedroom. So what I've actually done is booked a collection. Basically, the council will come and pick up 
large, can, you are very close to my mouth, large items like white goods, mattresses, anything like that. Obviously you have to pay a fee, but it's way less than you would pay a private company. And it's very convenient when, you know, I can't get to the tip on my own with a whole mattress. So it just kind of works pretty well. So I've booked that and it's coming in the next couple of days. So I basically need to work my way from the top of my house all the way down to the bottom and get rid of any rubbish or any items that I need to pass on or that I want to get rid of. I did try and have the mattress collected by a charity, but they didn't want it. You know what? That was a surprising dead end. I did not think that would be a dead end. I also think his bed looks great with the color of the kitchen. I cannot believe how much he's been using it. When I tell you at mum's house, he would never be on his bed. You would tell him to go to his bed at night and he would walk to the nearest blanket or towel. Are you a happy boy? It's so important to me. I'm back in the dressing room. And you know, one of my favorite things about having everything organized is the fact I have a lip balm drawer. And whenever I get dry lips, I know exactly where to go. And there's always a lip balm there. It is the best feeling. So I realized yesterday I never showed you the Christmas cards that I had made that I was raving about. <laughs> They're very average, okay? It's just a bit of fun. I literally just whacked it into Photoshop and put Merry Christmas on it. And I'm okay with that. And I think my family will love them. Look, it's nothing too dramatic. It just says Merry Christmas. And then inside I am going to write everyone out like a handwritten note. However, I got printed Merry Christmas, wishing you a season full of love, light and laughter. And yes. This is what I'm doing for my really close friends and family. I need to write those actually. I'll probably do that tonight along with some wrapping. But look what I have to try out. So I said in my other video that skincare doesn't really excite me. However, this excites me. So this is the Road Barrier Restore Cream. We then have the Road Peptide Glazing Fluid. This I'm really intrigued by. And then we have the Road Glazing Milk again. Super intrigued by that. So they are in my, <laughs> in my drawer ready to go into high rotation because I really want to try. It is so rare that I get excited like giddy over like skincare and makeup anymore and that has made me giddy I'm very excited you can probably oh you can't really see I have been sorting through my like just summer clothes and I mean it's kind of an impossible task at this time of year isn't it because how do you know what you're going to wear and how do you know what you, you like what you're not but what I've done is just picked out things I haven't worn in like three or four years and pop those in bags to take back to my mom's house to see if my sisters want them because if I haven't worn it in three years I'm not going to <laughs> That's the conclusion I've come to. But really, I should also go through and get some of my like longer dresses out that I'd rather have hanging like this one here, this gorgeous Acla dress. I would rather this was hanging up. And I do think things just get forgotten about when you don't hang them. I mean, not that I'm going to be wearing this time of year, but you know, it's just nice to have the special dresses that you've invested in hanging up somewhere and actually being looked after. I honestly love everything in my wardrobe right now. Like I can't even tell you. So just to give you a bit of context as to why I am on an absolute mad one with sorting and clearing and why I've booked like the rubbish collection and things. I have some furniture deliveries that are coming very soon and I also really want to get this done before I get into the Christmas spirit. Uh, I mean, I very much feel Christmassy already, but you know, I have so many things going on in the next couple of weeks with my friends going out and doing, you know, fun Christmassy things around London. This was kind of my downtime to get the house sorted and I've also told myself come the new year I am going to take a break on housey things just for like a little bit so I can make sure I'm making good decisions you know so I'm basically just trying to get back to zero and then I'm ready to go and have some fun these are like my serious few days where I have been on my laptop for hours each day and sorting through all my things however something that I do think it's time that we say goodbye to this is my McFly box now if you are at all new here you will probably have no idea what this is in fact let me go and get a light it's very dark in here so much better you can actually see now. So this is my McFly box. For those of you that are new here or haven't followed me for like my journey on YouTube, I am a massive fangirl. Full stop. There is no follow on. There is no but. Actually, maybe there is a but. But I've grown up. This box holds so many wonderful memories. So many, you know, this was like my young teenage years. And I just don't feel the need to keep it anymore. There's definitely a few things in here that I would like to pull out and keep. I just can't justify keeping everything like I'm never going to read this book this is so niche any McFly fans do you remember the day where Josh Fox announced that he had like outgrown being a, like a fangirl he was no longer a McFly fan his time had come to an end I remember watching that and sobbing and thinking I really hope I never get to that point and 
You know what? Growing up as a fangirl has been one of the best things to ever happen to me. Getting that feeling from going to a concert, oh my goodness, I, I don't know if I would have like made it through my teenage years had I not had the release of that. I used to look forward to those concerts like they were like freaking Christmas and it brought so much to my life. Like so many people that I met and sorry, someone was at the door. But yeah, so I just feel like I'm at the point now where I don't need this whole box of things. I'm so happy with how big being a fangirl has guided my life a bit, I guess. And now it's time to pass these on to people that are going to love them and use them. And I thought whilst we were doing that, I would show you through the box. I don't know if I've ever done this. I always told you that I would and I never, never have. So yeah, firstly, we have a book. Gosh, why did I get such a small size? That's from the Royal Albert Hall show. And then look, there's just a ton of t-shirts in here. Oh, a pair of leggings. Why is there a pair of leggings in there? This top, I think I got in like 2007 at the Greatest Hits tour. And I wore this under my school uniform for all my GCSEs. And I did really well, so. Thank you, McFly. If you gave me anything, you gave me fantastic GCSE results. So sometimes things serve you in the ways that you least expect it. So I just had a little delve through and I found some hilarious things. A sign of me asking Danny to take me to prom um, on the back of a Domino's box, of which by the way, he did say yes. He didn't take me. So there are things in here that are honestly ancient, but I've decided that I'm going to keep all of my tickets which are all here. And then there's a couple of just like random bits and bobs that I'm like, oh, I can keep that. They don't take up too much room, but the rest of it is going to be passed on. Uh, I feel like if anyone wants any like programs or anything, let me know, because I know some people collect them. Uh, and then, yeah, the other bits, like can't say giving popcorn to someone sounds like a good idea. That's how many years old? Best before July, 2013, this is my it looks fine. My drawing room is literally full to the brim with things that I need to do something with. Uh, also, I was going to say, <laughs> this is so random. If anyone knows how to fix printers, please help. It keeps saying there's a paper jam. There's not a paper jam. I've been through every video on YouTube and followed every step by step and it's still not working. I need to print a label off and it's beginning to really bother me. So if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. But I've just come over to a new in rail because I need to pull some outfits together for the next couple of days. I have some really exciting things, but I also have some things on here that I've had for a while. This is just for like warmer climates, isn't it? This is a gorgeous Doan dress. But again, I'm so happy I have so much properly store this now because this is it's quite delicate. Can you see? Oh, can't wait to wear that. I'm such a dress person. Like I feel so comfortable and confident in dresses like this. I would much rather wear them instead of like jeans. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my Levi's and my comfy jeans like that but I just feel very put together in this maybe I will do this in the morning I actually have to head into town tomorrow which I am excited about I have an appointment and a meeting and then I am going to zip home yeah that's the plan should I go for a walk <gasps> should I go for a walk should I get changed and we can go also you guys are going to be so proud of me guess what I finally did today I ordered some new socks can you believe it? <laughs> I don't know why it took me two months to order some new freaking socks, but I finally did it and I don't know what triggered it today. Come on then angel boy. Well, that's probably enough sorting for today. I sorted all of my camera equipment today. I would say I like surface level sorted. So I took everything out of the boxes, put them into drawers, but I know I've got like multiples of things that I don't need and things like that. I just haven't had a chance to go through those yet, but I'll get there and it's fine. I just want to make sure that, you know, like top line i'm actually getting it done although it's hilarious because the one room that was full of stuff was this room and every other room is full of stuff besides this one wonderful i'm back from my walk i ended up meeting one of my friends for a walk and a chat instead of going for dinner because the day just got away with me i also said to you the other week well maybe even just earlier in the week that i was going to talk about my renovation regrets i did this when i first moved in of some things that i initially was like mm, 
and I thought we would do the next installment, but I thought I'd save it for a day like today where the day has flown. I, I do not know how it is already the evening. Okay, let's talk my regrets. I have my tea and my cute little mug. Where's this? Oh, this is the London one. I, yeah, I moved in at the start of October and obviously we are in December now. So I feel like I'm a good amount of time in. I've had a lot of things done. I still obviously not completely finished or anywhere near but you know when whenever is everything finished and I definitely have some things that I wish I'd done slightly differently so I will link my other vlog in the description box where I talk about like my other regrets but there's definitely been some things since that I'm like oh so firstly and you're going to think this is ridiculous I wish I got a and I think this is ridiculous <laughs> I wish I'd got Super King bed in my bedroom. I think I was really afraid of the space feeling really, really small because it's like the roof room. And I got, well, I didn't get a bed. I have my king size bed that I already had in there. And every time I walk into the room, I am just like, oh, I wish I'd gone bigger. Obviously there's cons to that because firstly, it's more difficult to get bedding for, you know, larger beds. And it would take up more space in the room. However, as I'm like using the room, I'm quickly realizing that I literally wanted to be a bedroom like I don't want anything else in there so that's the first thing obviously that's something I could not easily change but more easily change but I would have to move the sconces and things like that that's that's the annoying thing next I wish I had different lights put in my kitchen I need I feel like I can fix it but in my so my kitchen is obviously flat and then it's slanted and I have my roof lights and it's just a bit dark the side where my roof lights are so I might see if I can get some kind of strip put up there or something like that because the last thing that I want is spotlights that are on the slanted roof. I had that. Where did I have that? Was that? I think it might have been when I first bought the house. They had them and it was the most frustrating thing. So definitely not that but I yeah I do need to fix the lighting situation in here. Next up I wish I'd been a little bit more adventurous with colour which is kind of shocking to say because I feel like for me I have been incredibly adventurous with colour but I mean I wish I'd gone like even brighter and again eventually that's something I can change but yeah I, I feel like I did well and I'm really happy like I love my drawing room, I love my pink room, I love my gym room and I, I wish I I don't know, maybe I'll just paint my room a brighter colour and that will make me feel like I have a brighter house. But I, I mean, maybe I'll just paint my room a brighter colour and then I feel like I've done that. But like in here, I feel like it should be a colour. Or I mean, I did say I really want to get this wall panelled with wood, the same colour as these cabinets. But I feel like, I don't know, definitely still doesn't feel finished in here. And I have been outreaching for carpenters to do the work. But obviously it's that time of year where people are either booked up or they don't really want the work until the new year. This next one is something that I've been thinking about over the last few days. I really dislike my stair, what's the word? My handles, my stair, what's the word? Like the handrail of my stairs. So initially it was supposed to curve round but there wasn't enough room to do the curve. So we've ended up having like balls and I don't love the balls. I was thinking about this the other day and then I was laying there in bed the other night thinking about how much I dislike these balls. Super trivial, not that deep, but really don't like them. And it's really not what I had in my mind's eye. Sadly, we just didn't have the room to make it work. Or so they say. I feel like maybe. Maybe it could have worked. There's definitely things that I thought I might regret that I definitely haven't. Like I don't regret, actually it's not been summer yet though has it? I was going to say I really don't regret not getting bifolds. Like I love my back doors, but maybe in the summer I'll <laughs> rethink that. But I just think they're beautiful. I love my windows actually. Love my windows, love my shutters. I have absolutely no regrets there. Oh, I also regret having my laundry scenario downstairs. I really, really want it upstairs. And then in the end it just worked out that the space for it was was right here. Oh, and also I had quite a few questions as to whether I was getting like a cupboard built or anything. I am, they are gonna be built in eventually, it's just not. I have like a few things that weren't on like my phase one, they're on my phase two. So they're the things that I'll probably do. It was gonna be now, as in now was phase two when I've been in for a few months, but I think I think I just need to give it a sec, to be honest. It's very, it's just very uh, like tying, having someone come to your home every day and have people in your space. Like I feel like I need, need a break. Oh my goodness, there's so many things I need to update you on. Someone else also asked the other day if I'm still building the building in the garden, like the pod scenario that I was calling the pavilion, no, I wasn't calling. It was decided that it was going to be called pavilion. I am, potentially, I not right now, 
now. It, again, that was like, that was gonna be like phase three. I really didn't think I was going to have the capacity to do that now because it wasn't a priority. It's still something that's like, 50-50, so I'm gonna go with maybe. I obviously don't need any more space right now, but again, I don't wanna start doing renovations and building work in five, six years time. So I think in the summer, I'll have a real sit down and think about whether that's something that I'd like to do long-term. And if it is, I would rather just get it done and out of the way because obviously having building work done is very disruptive. So I'd rather like get it done. Oh, you know what's like a semi-regret? I wouldn't say it's a regret regret because I wouldn't go about changing it now but I do think if I did this again I would have that and that is having an appliance cupboard in my kitchen I'm looking over at that corner because I mean the ceiling slanted so I can't really but this pantry cupboard here initially I was going to have those all the way along and then one of them would have been like here an appliance cupboard so all the appliances I could have had kind of lined along a shelf and plugged in just inside a cupboard however I am so so happy with my juice bar situation where I only have kind of bottom half cupboards and not in the top half because it just makes the room feel so much I just like a nicer shape I think it would have felt incredibly narrow had I had the double height cupboards all the way down although it probably would have been great for space I think this feels more like homely and it is super functional my kitchen overall I'm really happy with I definitely think I need some more like fabric in here it feels very clinical I mean it's a kitchen but I definitely want to find a rug for the snug I'm going to have a footstool in the snug and then I really would love to do like a built-in scenario in the snug for like a TV and have some more cupboards along the bottom for storage for I guess like hosting things i don't always want to keep everything in my you know in my cupboards like right now in that the bottom of my curiosity cupboard i have like my tablecloths and my napkins and i would love to have somewhere else to store them. I mean, for now, they're fine. But, you know, it would be really nice to have like a, like a dresser. I would love to have like a, a dresser built. And I, I think about it and I think about that's what my mum uses like her side console under the, under the television for in our kitchen. And my grandma has like a dress. Is that what you call it? A dresser in the kitchen? I don't know what you call it, but you know what I mean, right? There was something the other day that I was talking to Cody. Go on, take it. I was talking to someone the other day about something to do with the house that was saying I regret, but I can't remember what it was. And that that's what triggered me asking if you'd like me to talk about it more. And I can't remember what that specific one was. I would say I'm actually really, really pleased with how little I regret actually, because I found it so tricky to make decisions. And decision fatigue is genuinely a thing. I was talking to someone the other day who is currently renovating. She was saying she's just so over it. Like she's at the point now where she just, she doesn't care. Let's just get it done. Let's just get in and then, you know, we'll go from there. And I definitely got to that point, but it was also a lot of pressure because these things really matter. So it got to the point where I was like, I am so over making all these decisions, but I also don't really don't want to make the wrong decision. So yeah, I, I'm actually really, really pleased. There's still bits and bobs that I need sorting with my kitchen. They haven't come back to do the snagging yet. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like one of the drawers sticks, these cupboard doors are out of line that's a bit frustrating but they're very simple fixes although there is something wrong with this piece of marble it's not marble what is it i can't remember what material i had but there's basically a hole underneath which will make the whole slab weaker and they shouldn't have really given me a slab with a hole in the bottom i don't know where the hole is i think it's down that end but oh one thing I don't regret, which if you can definitely do, I paid a professional snagger. Honestly, the best thing, he came back with so many things that I could then go through with my builder and then the companies, like the kitchen company, I wouldn't have seen that hole under the slab and I certainly wouldn't have, I don't think it would have raised a red flag. I would have assumed it was supposed to be there for some reason, I don't know. That saved me a lot of time and I think in the long run will save me a lot of money. This one's a bit unnecessary, but I definitely do regret it, but I could fix it. I regret not having a separate oven to my range and Initially, I was going to do an oven over there in that corner at height, and I love to cook, I love to bake, and thankfully my range has a smaller oven and a larger oven. However, just selfishly, I would have loved another oven. Oh, I don't have a microwave either. That's not a regret though. I've lived without a microwave for so long. I saw someone saying the other day actually that they have lived without one for so long, they've just learned so many other ways to reheat things that you would generally just like throw in a microwave for 30 seconds. And I'm so the same. I don't miss it. I can reheat anything on my hob. I really can. And I, yeah, so I had quite a few people asking me like, why don't I have one? I just, I'm not that fussed about it. And same with air fryers. I've never tried an air fryer. I know you're going to tell me I have to, it will change my life. 
life, but I just don't I just don't feel like I need one. Like what what would it add to my life? Tell me, what am I missing out on? What would I cook in my air fryer that I can't just put in my oven or, or what will cook like way quicker in the air fryer that like makes it worth it? I'm sure that other one will come to my mind. Although I would say one of the biggest pieces of advice that I could give myself if I could go back is go with your gut. Like you know how you use your space, you know what you would like from your home. Just because someone tells you it makes way more sense to have your washer dryer downstairs doesn't mean it makes way more sense to you. You know, it's probably just what they're used to or what they're used to seeing in homes. And I do regret that. I regret not making room for upstairs, even if it means, you know, it would have, I don't know, I could have sorted it in the bathroom somehow. Like, but not in the bathroom, like next to the bathroom. I know I could have. I've seen it, I've seen it. But to be completely honest, I'm just completely over the moon with my home and I just can't wait to fill it even more with things that make it feel even more homely. Someone said the other day that it's so the right thing just to take my time with they use the Christmas decorations as an example it was a really lovely comment actually and it's true it does take time to accumulate those things that really feel important and like they matter and that's what I'm so set on doing I want I want every little piece to feel like it has a place and that it's it's special which look it's completely unnecessary but I want I want the home to feel full and I would say I do regret the pink room less I'm pretty I don't know if I put that as one of my regrets I regretted the two colors together I don't anymore I really like it now it, Again, with some things you just have to spend more time in the space to see how you feel about it. I am still going to wallpaper it at some point, but it's not a priority. And I am still wallpapering the bathroom, but that is a priority. However, the wallpaper getting delivered here is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. But I am holding out. I'm going to make it happen. But yeah, love the pink room now. Isn't it funny how sometimes some things just don't click and then you spend time in them and you're like, wait, I really like this. I really had that moment one day. I looked at it and I was like, this is beautiful. Like, it's so pretty. But that is all of the regrets I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure that one that I was talking to my friend about will pop into my head as soon as I stop talking to you. You know when you just want to think of that one thing and you can't? I don't know. Oh, that's going to bug me so much. You know what will happen? I'll be going to bed tonight. I'll be drifting off and then boom, it'll hit me and I will think of what it was but yeah I like I said I think I am very very lucky that there's so few things that I regret I can't imagine how it would feel walking into something you've put so much time effort and money into and not being happy with it I just oh my goodness I, I won't wish that on anyone I feel like we put so much time and love into our homes actually it was the funniest thing I was driving earlier to m and and I was sat in traffic looking at a man and he was rebuilding his front like wall outside his house and he was doing it like with himself with a, like the bricks and the cement and I was sat in that traffic for quite a while and it just made me laugh and I thought oh that's so funny I'm on my way to the grocery store at like whatever time of day it was in the middle of the day he was rebuilding his wall of his home and it is really funny it's like we're all playing our own stories and everything we do all the little things they really are so insignificant when you think about them but they mean so much in our worlds like me going to the grocery store today was really important to me and it meant that I've had some yummy food today and when I have people over later in the week I can feed them and for him obviously rebuilding his front garden wall was something that was really important to him and he walks past that every day and that's going to make a big impact in his life and I don't know I just have this really you know you have them strange moments where you feel like you're out of your reality for a second and like you're like ooh, this is strange I feel like I'm watching a movie I feel like it's gone from like my scene to his scene to I don't know it was it was one of those weird moments but I hope that's helped a little if you are looking to renovate or you're renovating i know there's quite a few of you actually that are renovating at the moment it's one of those things isn't it it's not a normal thing to have done like it's not like all of us have renovated a house before so a lot of it is learning on the go which is obviously it's risky it's not what you want to be doing but at the same time it's like it's the best way to learn so i'm going to have a big tidy up as i said i am up and out tomorrow first thing and oh wait no but now i have the refrigerator guy coming so i have to figure that that's a little inconvenient but we'll make it happen and yeah i need to do like a quick seven minute tidy love my seven minute tidies and then i'll feel a bit more put together oh look how neat it is before bed oh, love that feeling i have my little basket of things that need to be distributed what do you guys do about that do you have one of those like 
uh, baskets that sits on your stairs. Uh, I've seen those and I think they're really cool. We never really had those growing up. So I think that is a really cool concept. And you just kind of pop things in there throughout the day that need to go upstairs. And then you can just carry the basket up at the end of the day. I think that's really good. But this room has descended to chaos because I was going through those bags. I did it to myself. Anyway, I think this is where I would be loving you and leaving you because my camera battery is flashing at me. Like, stop talking. So <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys on charge. And tomorrow, as I said, I'm heading into town first thing. Well, after the uh, the fridge guy's been. Hopefully he comes. I'm, I'm positively manifesting. Third, third time lucky. <laughs> He's coming tomorrow. And then, yeah, I'm gonna head into town. And it's just gonna be a really lovely wintry day. I was thinking earlier, actually, how it feels so mild. Like, at the, at the moment for winter, obviously, like, last week it was not. But it's gone back to that, like, really tepid, kind of nice 10 degrees, which I think so far fine but it does mean it rains more doesn't it but i shouldn't have said any of that because now we're gonna dip into freezing temperatures aren't we but anyway thank you so much for watching today's vlog i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you bright and early in the morning for another one good night